record me Karthi. I said, sir, this one, uh, I'm going to start in the reverse order, TK reverse direction. We do the last question first, TK organic first. So, I said, screen pe nazar aare na? Yes. So, starting with the first, esters, esters, what, uh, what functional group is an ester? Ester is a group where, what do you have? You've got a serial bond O. And OR is the carbon chain. Okay, so you go, you'll, you'll have a bunch of carbon atoms on this side, on this side. So that is that is what what an ester group is, right? So I um, said so now we can. I don't know if uh, there's a need to draw all of them, but you can draw all of them. Uh, this is how esters are named: methyl propanoate. Meth. How many carbons is meth? Uh, one. TK, you got one carbon atoms. Prop is how many carbon atoms? Uh, three. So what is the structure of methyl propanoate? It's going to be double bond O and O. So methyl side is the is the alcohol OH side. It's it's this side. So that side is one carbon atom. So there's going to be one carbon atom on this side. And prop is three carbon atoms on the other side, the double bond O side. And they'll all there'll be these H's, right? Three of them over here. Two over here and three over here. Tiga, so that's that's your that's your methyl proper weight and that's your that's your ester group, TK. So I'm gonna draw each one of them. Ethyl proper weight, what would that be? It's gonna be a double bond O. Tika wo beach moga. And uh Eth is how much? Eth is how many carbons? Eth is two. So ethyl, this, the alcohol side, the single O side, that's two carbon atoms. And prop is uh, three again. So double bond O side, that's your three carbon atoms. So you, can, you can add the H's. There would be three of them over here. There's going to be two H's uh, over here. Uh, two H's over here and there'll be three H's over here. So this, this is your ethyl propanoate. Uh, and similarly, we can do the other ones as well. Propyl propanoate is uh, double bond O. So three carbon atoms on each side. One, two, three. And one, two, and this is the third one, TK. Uh, just to save time, I'm not writing the H atoms, TK. These are your H atoms. So a core that's a butyl propanoate. So again, that's a double bond O. Butyl is on the on this side. There's going to be four carbon atoms. And propanoate the other side. There's going to be three carbon atoms. Okay. So just a quick recap. Okay. What's an ester? It's, ester is a serial bond O and O functional group. And uh, the alcohol side, that's your alkyl, that's your O8. This side is O8, this side is alkyl. This is methyl meth and three carbon atoms prop, propanoate. This one is uh, three on each side, so that's propyl and propanoate. This side is ethyl and propanoate. This is butyl and propanoate, TK. As I state the name given to a family of organic compounds with similar chemical properties, what do you call that? What's a family of Tika? That's your homologous so that's your homologous series. I said here next one. Explain why members of a family of have similar chemical properties. Why do they have similar chemical properties? Because uh, they're the same functional groups. So they have the same. State the name given to a family of, uh, given to a formula such as CN. What do you call this thing? The general formula. See, that's your general formula. You hear this, uh, these esters, that's the general formula. Esters have this general formula. It's CN. H2NO2. Determine the value of N for butyl propanoate. Uh, N would be the number of carbon atoms, right? 
So what's the value of n yes. over here? That's uh, four and three, that's seven, right? Seven. So if yes. formula, formula according cleaner, this formula will have, the molecular formula will be C7H14. Uh, O2. And O2, right? O the equilo, H will be 14, I think. Three and two, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, TK. So C7H14. So N is equal to seven. All four of the esters in the list are liquids at room temperature. Name the technique used to separate uh, uh, ethyl propanoid. How do you separate liquids? A mixture of liquids. Fractional distillation. TK fractional. Distillation. Okay, the, the, each one will have a different boiling point. All four esters can be made by reacting different alcohols with the same substance. Uh, name the substance and draw its structure show all the atoms and bonds of uh, uh, all four can be made by reacting different alcohols. So, which substance care? All four esters can be made by reacting. Achha, with one, the Achha, so, he's saying in all four esters, the alcohol part is the one that's different. So, which side is the alcohol side? The alcohol side is your uh, you have the side, the single O side, that's your, that's your alcohol side, TK. Uh, so every time all four can be made by reacting different alcohols. Uh, where's the fourth one, by the way? So there's this, this one, this is, and then you have this alcohol. So anyways, so the ester is a molecule that is uh, produced uh, when you have uh, two substances reacting together. And normally it's, a, it's an alcohol. This side is an alcohol. The other side is a carboxylic acid. Now in all three cases, it's the same carboxylic acid. It's one, two, three, double bond O. So how the fun, it's, I mean, this side is exactly in all four. It's the same exact side. Double bond O. Uh, there'll be H's over here. TK. Imagine these. So this side always the double bond O side always comes from the from the carboxylic acid. So in can how many carbons is this? Three carbons. You get that's three carbon atoms. And let me explain this once more. Okay. One of the molecules is a carboxylic acid. The other molecule is your alcohol, TK. R is the carbon chain. And what happens is that the OH and H is lost and the two join up, TK. So which is why you end up with double bond O and O in the middle, TK. The two would link up. Each person of water, that's going to get, that's going to get removed. So water will get removed. And TK, a second. So water, water will get removed. And they would end up as esters. And in all three cases, it's the same exact ester, which is propanoic acid, TK. So how does it's propanoic acid? Because it's got three carbon atoms. Oska structure, Pelly, draw the complete structure, double bond O and OH. Uh, these are your eight atoms. So it's CH3, CH2. C double bond O and OH. Name the alcohol that's used to make uh, methyl propanoate. So which one was methyl propanoate? It, it's this one, right? So it's going to be it's going to be this alcohol. So it's a one carbon atom alcohol. So what's a one carbon atom alcohol? Can I move that? Yoga. From S. No, meth. I mean, meth, 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 meth. So you get one carbon, one carbon is meth. So this one is going to be a, a methanol molecule. So, so before actually, before it was an ester, it, it used to be an alcohol. It was OH and the carbon had three H's bonded to it. So it was, it was a methanol molecule. As a, other esters not in the list have the same molecular formula as propyl proponate, but different structures. 
Uh, state the term used to describe substances with the same molecular formula but different structures. What is that called? Uh, isomers. Okay, they're known as isomers. Name two esters with the same molecular formula as propyl propanoate. So, here drawn is all. Which one has the same molecular formula as prop? I mean, this one is propyl propanoate. This one over here. So, which one has exactly the same molecular formula? As As a Kyoga, which one is a which one is an isomer? An isomer is going to have exactly the same formula. So who's got six carbon atoms? In Miss the Queen, this one has five carbon atoms. This one has uh, four carbon atoms. This one has seven carbon atoms. So this is question. Pooja, he had asked, "K name two esters with the same molecular formula as Acha." So he's looking for. Isomers of propyl propanoate. Is that clear? Yes. So basically, you had six carbon atom esters. So, so an ester is this thing. Acetyl mode O-N. Oh. So I want six carbon atoms. Now, in propyl propanoate, you had three on each side. Uh, so what you can have is uh, I can have uh, maybe four on one side and I can have two on the other side, right? That would be an isomer because there'll be three H's. This one will have two H's. This will be CH2, this two CH2, and this one will be three H's, right? Or what I can also have is, so I can have one carbon atom on one side, and I can have five on the other side, three, four, five. Obagi CH3, this is CH2, 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 and I have CH3. To clear it, these are isomers of propyl propanoid. Is this clear? Yes. So isomers, you had the same number of atoms, the same number of oxygen atoms as well. Well, it's okay, C6H. Uh, 12O2, right? So all of them are C6H12O2, but they are different structures. As anyways, next part. Uh, polymers okay? Polyesters. I will explain to explain what's a... Polyester. Polyester. Okay. So these are known as condensation polymers. So you have to end the board for condensation. One second, right at the end. So ye esters hai. Um, uh -huh. As a condensation polymers, just a quick recap. Okay, what happens in condensation polymers is that you've got small molecules and they link up and they form this big chain. Okay, that's what your normal plastics is. So you form polyesters, polyamides, complex carbohydrates, TK, all of this, proteins. They all form this way, small molecules linking up, single monomers join together to form a large macromolecule. Now in condensation polymers, what happens is that water is always produced as a byproduct. process So what is that process? The process is that there are three types of uh, polymers that you have to study, condensation polymers. The first one is known as a polyester. Polyester, you have a molecule. So a box that represents the molecule. It could be any molecule. It could be a carbon. It could be anything. So you could 
I mean, it's a, you, know, you could have anything in the middle. We don't care about what's inside it. Okay? So it could be anything. Uh, so the box represents whatever the molecule is. But the property of the molecule is going to be that it's going to have two OH groups on both sides. That's a diol. And the other one, the other monomer, there's going to be a second monomer. The second monomer will have a carboxylic acid on both sides. And now what will happen is okay, lots of these monomers will line up. Okay, there's going to be an, a diol, there's going to be a carboxylic acid, a diol, a dicarboxylic acid, all of them would line up. Or beach piscina, the H and OH will start getting removed as water. They'll, st they'll start condensing. Water is going to be produced. So beach piscina, if you remove the water molecule over here, the double bond O is now directly linked with this oxygen. So this single bond O is now directly going to be linked with this oxygen atom over here. And that's your ester link. The single bond O will directly link with this oxygen and that's your, that's your ester link. This single bond O will directly link with this oxygen, so that's your ester link. So ester is so that that's a polyester. Okay, polyester means multiple ester linkages. Is this clear? Yes. So, how do you understand this example? Yes, I understand. And this question is here. He will just give you this thing and he will draw it. So, he's in the, in, even in this question, he's exactly asking you to do exactly the same. So you see, look, there's one monomer that's got carboxylic acids on both sides, and there's the other one that's got the alcohol group on both sides. See, okay? So, I first draw all of them. Then, in between, then I'm going to remove the H and OH. See, okay? So here, there's going to be double bond O. Okay. This one is double bond O. I say you what? So, what will happen? That in the middle, the H and OH are going to get removed. They'll start condensing. OH, H removed. OH, H removed. OH is removed. H is removed from the sides as well. Side sister remove karte to achha, ye iska oh chala gaya. Udana, there's a, there's an O that's left. I say the beach may be now that's uh the OH is gone. Uska o, ho gaya. o is left. Same thing happens over here. The OH is gone and the H is gone. Oh, pair ends maybe same thing. Oh, it is lost. And the age is lost. And what will happen now is they'll start linking up. The side spin up show karte, okay, this is still continuing. There'll be thousands of these that will that will all connect together. Is this part clear? Yes. Are you concerned the condensation? Polymerization. Why? Because every time a water molecule got produced. Uh, name a polyester. So polyester ki examples. Okay. What's a what's a good kya What's a Mars? What's a good example of a polyester? In a real world example, um, yeah, I was a yeah, okay. polyester is right polyester, polyester, okay, couple of them, polyester, sweaters, where you could be. Uh, tag they kuna kaprongas kanda. There's a mixture of polyester and wool or something like that. So polyester is used for for as a fabric and that's known as sterilene, that's synthetic polyesters. Or natural mina fat sajate. Fat molecules are kind of like a polyester. Agar, if I show you a fat molecule, so 
although it's not a polyester uh, it's kind of like it's got ester links it's got multiple multiple ester links ke matlab agar to ye nazar aa raha hai this one has oas serial bond oan o oh, between the chain to khair example kya terlin theek hai that's your that's going to be your example और मैं इसके ऊपर हर दफा क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली इट्स द सेम क्वेश्चन दैट्स गोइंग बी रिपीटेड ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन इज दिस क्लियर यस चलो नेक्स्ट पे चलते हैं अच्छा अनदर ऑर्गेनिक क्वेश्चन तो द क्वेश्चंस अबाउट एल्केन्स एंड एल्कीन्स शॉर्ट चेन एल्केन्स एंड एल्कीन्स कैन बी फॉर्मड फ्रॉम लॉन्ग चेन एल्केन्स इन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन Name the type of chemical reaction which forms short chain alkenes from long chain alkenes. What's the process? Cracking. Okay, yeah, cracking because uh, so it's known as cracking. Uh, why were bigger molecules uh, not useful? Why do the why I mean cracking would convert them into smaller chains, right? Smaller molecules. तो क्या रीजन होती है व्हाई वाज व्हाट्स रॉन्ग विद बिगर मॉलिक्यूल्स मतलब क्यों क्रैकिंग करते थे कि जब हम वो करते थे ना क्रूड ऑयल वेज क्रूड ऑयल टॉप पे होगा एक सेकेंड हाँ ये था ना क्राकिंग तो हमने डिस्कस ये किया था कि वेर डू यू गेट ऑल दीज ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड यू मोस्टली गेट दम फ्रॉम अंडरग्राउंड ठीक है एज पेट्रोलियम और उसके अंदर पेट्रोलियम इज अ मिक्सर यू डू फैक्शल इंस्टलेशन यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू गेट बिग मॉलिक्यूल्स यू गेट स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स बिग मॉलिक्यूल्स आर हाई लार्ज सेट हैव हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट्स and they're not very flammable so they they obtain as residues theek hai jo tar wagaira that's your those are big molecules petroleum jelly waxes car waxes upar jaate rehte to chote molecules hote hain they've got lower boiling point so they don't condense easily so that's why they are obtained once the vapor cools significantly theek hai to ek se अच्छा तो व्हेन द वेपर कूल्स सिग्निफिकेंटली तो दैट्स व्हेन यू गेट योर स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स आई सेड नाउ द थिंग इज दैट अ बिग मॉलिक्यूल्स आर नॉट वेरी यूजफुल बिकॉज़ यू कांट बर्न देम नंबर 1 पर्पस होता है ना इन पेट्रोलियम का दैट्स यू वांट देम फॉर कंबशन सो लार्ज मॉलिक्यूल्स आर नॉट वेरी यूजफुल दे आर नॉट फ्लेमेबल दे आर नॉट विस्कस ठीक है वो थिक होते हैं दे आर स्टिकी दे आर नॉट वेरी यूजफुल अ टार जो रोड्स के यूज होती है ठीक है वेरी स्टिकी सो व्हाट यू डू इज अंडर हाई प्रेशर्स हाई टेम्परेचर्स यू ब्रेक देम इनटू स्मॉलर चेंज आई मीन द मॉलिक्यूल जस्ट लिटरली क्रैक्स इनटू स्मॉलर मॉलिक्यूल्स ठीक है क्लियर आइडिया तो इधर वो कह रहे डेकेन हैज यहां भी क्या कह रहे डेकेन एज टेन कार्बन आइटम्स इट फॉर्म्स इथेन एंड इथिन एज द ओनली प्रोडक्ट as a decan what's the formula of decan what's the general formula of an alkene cnh2 the alkene for the cnh2n plus plus 2 plus 2 as a that's what an alkene is so decan ka formula kya hoga that's got 10 carbon atoms right so n is 10 so that's going to be c10 and h how many h is 22 20 22 22 2 भी है 
वो कह रहे क्रैक हो रहा है लिटरली द मॉलिक्यूल इज ब्रेकिंग डाउन इनटू वाटर इट फॉर्म्स इथेन एंड इथीन इथीन व्हाट्स द जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ओनली इथेन इज एन एल्केन एज़ वेल सो व्हाट्स व्हाट्स द फॉर्मूला ऑफ इथेन ठीक है ठीक है एंड द अदर वन इथीन दैट्स C2H4 इथीन में डबल बॉन्ड होता है सो देयर्स टू एसिड्स CNH2 एंड ओथर ठीक है एज अ सीसिंग that's the only product in this reaction right so to figure out karo ke uh now you need to balance this so how do you balance this but agar main isko 3 and 2 name i think so देखो सो द कार्बन्स आर कार्बन्स आर 10 नाउ 6 प्लस 4 दैट्स 10 हाइड्रोजन्स कितने हैं अ लेस टू मेनी ठीक है सो दैट कैन बी इट सो सो बेसिकली वी हैव ट्रबल बैलेंसिंग द हाइड्रोजन सो अब फिगर आउट करो हाउ मेनी हाउ वुड यू बैलेंस इट बट समथिंग लाइक दैट बट यू हैव टू गेट द हाइड्रोजन्स राइट एज़ वेल मतलब सीओ टू का क्या हो सकता है कि इट कुड बी टू दिस एंड थ्री दिस राइट मेक इट द अदर वे राउंड द कार्बन आर स्टिल बैलेंस राइट सो व्हाट अबाउट द हाइड्रोजन्स कितना हो गया स्टिल नॉट बैलेंस विल बी 24 24 चलो सीओ टू पे नहीं इट्स नॉट वर्किंग आउट आइदर वे सो व्हाट्स द अदर वन 4 एंड 1 राइट 1 एंड 4 सर दैट्स द थिंक ठीक है 1 एंड 4 सो दैट्स अ 16 hydrogens and 6 hydrogens so that's 22 theta that's balanced and the carbons are also balanced now ethane reacts with chlorine at room temperature and one other product is formed in the other product so ye alkanes ka na there's only one reaction theek hai and that's uh, this one kya hota hai alkanes ka reaction like if i go back to the alkanes iske baad hoga just a second अच्छा अब ये कर लें कि एल्केन्स का एक ही रिएक्शन होता था व्हिच वाज यूवी लाइट क्लोरिनेशन राइट सो व्हाट वुड हैपन इज क्लोरीन वुड कम इन एंड इट वुड सब्स्टिट्यूट वन ऑफ द एचएस इन द एल्केन एंड उस एंड इथिल वुड बी प्रोड्यूस एज अ बाय प्रोडक्ट राइट सो दैट वाज द ओनली रिएक्शन फॉर एल्केन्स तो वो कह रहा है कि इथेन का बनाओ इथेन इज C2H6 तो इट रिएक्ट्स विद क्लोरीन you get c2h5 so one of the one of the cl's has been substituted wo jo h alag hua hai na that will end up as hcl theek hai ye clear yes. or con conditions where that's that's uv light theek hai acha so uh, just give me 2 minutes theek hai i will be back in 2 minutes
हेलो हाँ जी आवाज आई अच्छा स्टेट वाइज दिस इज एन एडिशन रिएक्शन ये अल्किन के ना एडिशन रिएक्शन होता था तो क्या होता था मॉलिक्यूल्स एड अप टू फॉर्म वन मॉलिक्यूल सो दैट्स व्हाई इट्स कॉल्ड एन एडिशन रिएक्शन इस पे क्या होता था हमने अल्किन में पढ़ा था कि हमेशा when you have each alkenes double bonds hote hain and things get added to the double bond so double bond turns into a it would turn into a single bond aur us jagah pe na there's going to be stuff getting added to it theek hai तो ये आगे ना इसके एल्केन्स के बिल्कुल आगे एडिशन रिएक्शन होंगे ये वाले थे कि अच्छा दिस रिएक्शन नॉट जस्ट हैपन विद ब्रोमीन बट इट आल्सो हैपन विद क्लोरीन एज वेल इसके ऊपर मैं लिख लेता हूं कि और क्लोरिनेशन ठीक है तो डबल बॉन्ड में ना थिंग्स विल गेट एडेड ठीक है उसमें हाइड्रेशन भी होता था व्हाट हैपेंड दैट वाटर गॉट एडेड टू द डबल बॉन्ड ठीक है सो एच ओ एच गॉट एडेड टू द डबल बॉन्ड यू आल्सो हैड हाइड्रोजनेशन जहां पे क्या होता था कि डबल बॉन्ड्स में एच गॉट एडेड ठीक है सो यू हैड दिस रिएक्शन एज वेल अच्छा बाकी इसमें और कौन सा रह गया अच्छा दिस इज दिस दिस शोइंग एडिशन राइट Calculate the energy that is needed to break bonds. So, how many bonds? Use the following steps. Calculate the energy that is needed to break bonds. Whenever you have a reaction, so bonds, old bonds, they have to be broken, right? So, how many bonds are broken? Uh, open new bonds are going to be formed. So, CH के कितने bonds तोड़े हैं? That's four CH bonds, right? Uh, you're breaking a carbon double bond, carbon as well. and then you're breaking a cl cl bond as well so how much energy yahan pe energy values are given so that's uh, ch is 4 10 times 4 cl bond c is 6 10 and cl cl is uh, 240 so kya value aayi hai what what do you get for this Two thousand four hundred and ninety. Two thousand four hundred and ninety. And then energy change for the reaction will determine the energy released when bonds are formed. So, when Here, uh, a carbon carbon single bond is formed, and CCl bonds are formed, right? So one carbon carbon bond is getting formed, and there are two carbon and CL bonds are getting formed as well. Okay, this all is formed. So CH is uh, four ten times uh, what four? Uh, CCl is uh, CC is three fifty, and CCl is two uh, forty. Or bond formed is exothermic, so that all would be negative, right? So, what value are you? Release का वैसे ही sign जो था that's negative. So, what do you get for this? It's on um, this one you wrote uh, two forty for the C and C uh, carbon two. The chlorine. So, I um, mean, this is uh, you don't actually have that bond energy. Like we have a Cl C bond, right? I said they gave us. I said this one we don't know. C Cl is not known, so I'm going to take that as X. Okay, I'm going to take that as X. 
So, can I use your answer to step one? Let me explain it because we it's not given the table over here. So, what do you get for this? Malika, that's sixteen forty minus three fifty and minus sixteen forty. Uh, 1990. Kitara, what are you getting? 1990. So minus 1990 minus X, right? Yes. And he's saying use your answer in step two. Uh, formula, let's go with the formula, which is that uh, the enthalpy of a reaction is basically what? It's the bonds that are broken minus bonds that are formed. Bonds broken is the endo and bonds formed is exo, right? So the overall enthalpy change is this. Now in this question, what he did was that he gave you the value, overall values could with it was given as minus 180, right? So this was already given us, the enthalpy of the reaction was given as minus 180, delta HR. Bonds broken, you calculated. You calculated that as 2490. Minus bonds formed into energy release, we know that's not given. So what, what is this value, by the way? I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be 2490 plus uh, 180. Two thousand six hundred and seventy. Two thousand six hundred and seventy, right? So that means two thousand six hundred and seventy. This thing over here that you calculated was actually two thousand six hundred and seventy. Is that clear? Because you say answer to the other, and one of the parts you had already calculated. So this other part was this thing. And now he's going to ask you, okay, uh, use your answer to step two to calculate the CCL bond energy. So that I took as X. So that means 2670 is basically equal to what? Minus 990 or into 2, actually 2X two over. Minus 2X. So X without Kyoga. Okay. Also, you minus two six seven zero released. Uh, three eighty five. Did you take it as plus two six? I mean, did you solve this one? I, I didn't like this. Okay, that's going to give you three. 85. 85. So, okay, let's just recap. Remember this, that in any reaction, uh, bonds are broken. Okay, and then you have bonds uh, getting formed. Uh, bonds are formed on the product side and broken on the reactant side. So in this case, uh, they already gave you the answer. The enthalpy change was already given for the reaction. So, you so, knew so what... the, that's not the answer. Uh, you need answer. I know it's a 340, my bad. That's a 340. Yeah, I wrote 376 and 367. So 340 is the answer. So in every reaction, enthalpy change reaction, bonds are broken and bonds are formed. Bonds broken is endothermic. That's all going to be positive. And bonds formed, the energy will be all negative. It's all going to be exothermic. TK. So enthalpy of reaction is bonds broken minus bonds formed. We figured out how many bonds are being broken. The values were given over here. So we figured out that was 2490. The answer was already known. It was already known that the value is minus 180, the final answer. So from that, we were able to figure out bonds formed. Okay, what is the energy that is going to be released when bonds are going to be formed? The only problem was that okay, we couldn't calculate it directly. 
क्योंकि बॉन्ड्स फॉर्मड एज वी न्यू हाउ मनी बॉन्ड्स आर गेटिंग फॉर्म फोर सी एच बॉन्ड्स वन सी सी बॉन्ड एंड टू सी एल बॉन्ड्स बट वी डिड नॉट हैव द सी सी एल बॉन्ड एनर्जी सो अगर हम डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट करते हैं वी वुड ओनली गेट दिस थिंग माइनस नाइन नाइनटी माइनस टू टाइम्स एक्स दोनों का खैर वैल्यू एक ही है सो वी इक्वेटेड दैम एंड वी फिगर आउट वॉट एक्स इज ठीक है क्लियर है ये तो एक सेकंड में एक मैसेज देख लो आप लोगों का टाइम है अभी चलिए एक और क्वेश्चन कर लेते हैं अच्छा इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस इट्स एन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल जिंक इलेक्ट्रोड आयरन इलेक्ट्रोड फर्स्ट ही टेल मी व्हिच वन इज मोर रिएक्टिव जिंक और आयरन ठीक है जिंक रिमेंबर इज रिएक्टिव टू सीज में ना इट्स व्हाट्स द रिएक्टिव सीज के एन सी ए एम जी ए एल कार्बन आ जाता है बीच में एंड देन यू हैव जेड एन एफ एस एंड टी बी H and you've got Cu H G and A G and you've got E U and you've got P T. So zinc is more reactive. So that means it really likes to lose electrons and it would lose a lot of electrons. A reactive metal. so electrons would travel to the unreactive one they always travel from the more reactive to the to the less reactive and that's the direction so usse ka the electron flow so we do that is that clear yes so electrons always flow from the more reactive because the more reactive is the one that's producing electrons write the ionic half equation for the reaction that occurs when the zinc electrode dissolves so क्या हमने पढ़ा कि इट्स अ मोर रिएक्टिव वन सो इट लूजेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो जिंक इज द वन दैट्स गोइंग टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड इट विल बिकम अ पॉजिटिव टू आयन इज दिस क्लियर अम द रीडिंग ऑफ द वोल्ट मीटर कैन बी इंक्रीज इफ आइदर जिंक और आयरन इज रिप्लेस्ड सो नेम अ मेटल दैट कैन रिप्लेस सो हाउ डू यू इंक्रीज द करंट के यू टेक एन इवन मोर रिएक्टिव मेटल इज दैट क्लियर clear the bath ji so instead of zinc uh, you can take uh, magnesium i mean replace zinc with mg that's an even more reactor so it's going to produce even more electrons so or uh, name a metal to yahan pe less reactor ki jagah you can take an even lesser reactive metal so you can so you can take magnesium or the other side you can take copper that will produce an even bigger current uh name the reactants in a fuel cell what is a fuel cell fuel cell hota hai hydrogen oxygen fuel cell those are your reactants and the waste product is water water theek hai ye bhi ek cheez hai yaad rakhni hai ki fuel cell mein what happens is ke uh ke electrolysis ka do i yeah i would have the board Like what happens in a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is that you have two gas jars. As a one side, there is hydrogen gas coming in. On the other side, there is oxygen gas coming in, and there are platinum electrodes, and they are dipped in an electrolyte. So and they're connected together via voltmeter. The fuel cell is going to produce electricity. What's going to happen is that the oxygen is going to react with the uh, oh, x and four which minus one. Uh, x and four. इसका उल्टा है टू एस टू प्लस ठीक है सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी टू एस टू प्लस ओ टू प्लस 
four electrons. So this is this reaction that's happening on one electrode. And on the other electrode, what you have is what you have going on is that you've got H2 and it's reacting with uh, two OH ions and they're forming uh, two water molecules plus they're losing two electrons. I said, so the reactions are not important. You just have to memorize the reactions. What's, hap what's happening is that there's a reaction that's happening on this side that gains electrons. And you have a reaction on the other side that uh, loses electrons. So one side is losing electrons, so it's producing a lot of electrons. The other side is the one that's gaining electrons. So that starts a current. A current starts getting produced on the outside. Is this clear? Yes. And the byproduct, the only thing that's produced is water molecules that are produced in the reaction. So again, this is something that you just have to, I mean, you don't have to care where the reactions come up. UPS batteries, so I mean, this is what's going on. That there's a reaction that's happening with, which is gaining electrons. And uh, you've got another cell where, where there's a reaction that's happening that's uh, losing electrons. So if you connect them th through a wire, so one side is producing electrons, that those electrons travel and they reach the other side. So there's a current that starts flowing through the wire. As so a name, the process which uses electricity to break down uh, molten ionic compounds. So how, how, what is the process called? Electrolysis. Explain why ionic compounds need to be aqueous or molten. You get solid with electrons. Ions. Sorry. Solid can they don't have uh, free moving ions. Uh, now name three substances which are manufactured when you have electrolysis of uh, concentrated brine NaCl. So one electrode, the other electrode, this cathode anode TK, right one is the cathode and the left one is the anode. Either electrons are on the other side, the electrons are being taken away. So brine may how many ions will be present in brine? There's going to be Na plus one. And there's going to be Cl minus one, and there's going to be H plus one, and there's going to be OH minus one. So in the room, who gains electrons? Na plus one or H plus one? Who gains electrons? Electrons are coming in from the battery. Really, it's the one that's lower in the reactor receives that gains electrons. H it is here. H is here. H is the one that's going to gain electrons. Okay, that's the that's the rule. H has a higher tendency to actually gain electrons, and since it's diatomic, so it will form H two gas. Is this clear? Yes. Or yes. jabbi concentrated it's this who loses electrons? It's Cl minus one, it's diatomic as well. So it will be the one that would lose electrons and it will form chlorine gas. So H lagya, to piche ke lagya, it's Na and OH ions, right? So your three products are going to be chlorine at anode, hydrogen at cathode, and there's going to be NaOH at the in the solution over here. So yeah. Do you get clear? Yes, clear. Okay. I said, name a different substance formed when you have molten uh, NaCl. Molten may H not be, so Na will be then. Molten, there's not going to be any H plus ions. So it's just going to be sodium gaining electrons. Because H water so there's no water now. Is that clear? Yes. I said, sir, take a year. I'm going to take a few questions. How many questions are there? Four. Four onwards, right? Just take a
चलिए ठीक है ओके एवरीवन ओके